Okay, hi you guys. So today I'm gonna do a real short video. Um, I had a request by a friend to do a, essentially a dirty pour or a flip cup. No, it won't be a flip cup, it'll be a dirty pour on a star. The star is wooden. It has three pegs at the bottom or safety pins, or not safety pins, but tacks at the bottom for uh, keeping them level. And so we're gonna basically try and figure out how this works. Um, he's a big Cowboys fan, so he asked me to do a Cowboys themed star for him. So I've got in this cup uh, here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's black and silver. The silver that I've used, this is just your basic Mars black um, by Liquitex. And then I'd use the Deco Art um, American Decor Metallics. I got it from, where did I get it from? I got it from Michaels, there we go, $9.99. And then this is your basics, uh, blue and white. The blue was, what color is this? That P word that nobody can say, <laughs> blue. But this is what it is, for the record. And I'll put it down in the description box as well. Anyhow. Let's get the show on the road and see how this turns out. I saw something earlier where somebody did a, essentially what was termed then was a kiss pour. So I'm going to attempt that. And here goes nothing. Well, that's interesting looking already. Mm. All right, let's see if we can get some motion on it. Without losing entirely too much of our paint. I hope you guys can still see this. I'm new to the whole uh, set up your camera and record thing, so it's currently suspended above me. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool looking. I find that a lot of us who do the pouring, we have the focus of Zeus. <laughs> it's like you're, you you want to talk during your videos, but then in the same token, it's like, I have nothing to say at the moment. Let me focus. So I'm finding that I probably should have, in hindsight, um, put down a, a, basically a negative space first, be it black or white or silver or whatever, but that probably would have helped the paint move a little faster. Um, as it stands right now, I think it's pretty cool. 
However, you'll see the pooling around my star and note that uh, most of the, well, not most, but a lot of the paint is off of the star at this point. However, I do have a little paint left. Let's see if we can make something amazing happen. Come over here with a little bit of this and a little bit of that and do some kissing in the corner over here and over there and over here. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I'll run them back, that way, back this way, there, and here. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can pick some up and try to get it to go together. Not half bad. All right. This corner here might be a little more tricky. But let's see if we can make something amazing happen. Managed to cover the whole star. Interesting. Well, like I said, this was a trial to see how it would turn out. So, I did put a little silicone in it. Um, the coconut milk is what I use. That is my, my silicone of preference. But overall, I think it turned out okay. I'll give it a few minutes and come back and check on it in a bit. But... I really like the cell work and that last minute blue over there. <laughs> I like it a lot, but stay tuned. Bye, guys.